five weather. Here's some breaking weather news today. So nice around here. We voted the weather into the weather hall of fame. Man, what a day. Hopefully you had a chance to get out and enjoy it. Still 70 degrees in Colorado Springs with those beautiful blue skies in Pueblo. Feeling fine at 79. What a day today. That's been your high so far. How about a live look from Teller County, the east face of America's Mountain? That look, like, looks like something you might see on canvas, painted on canvas, but no Mother Nature doing the artwork there. Just incredible. Colorado living up to the name Colorful Colorado with the blue sky and the snow capped Rocky Mountains. Just stunning. Got some big changes to make you aware of. This is our big weather story. Let me set the table for you. Strong cold front is going to roll down I 25 Saturday afternoon. Gusty wind around here and thunderstorms in the mix. Some of those thunderstorms could be strong and a couple could actually go severe across parts of the viewing area. Here's what we're expecting by 3 p.m. Thunderstorms developing over northern El Paso County across the Tri Lakes area. Those thunderstorms will continue to develop and move down to the south. We've got thunderstorms in parts of Colorado Springs by 4 p.m. Those thunderstorms will continue to develop and move to the southeast. Could see something strong or severe out across the valley by 6 p.m. This model clears everything out after sunset Saturday evening evening. Here's something very interesting and I know it's really early to talk uh, rainfall potential and rain totals here since the storm's still a long way off. But by Tuesday afternoon, this model kicking out up to an inch of moisture, even over an inch of moisture across parts of Colorado Springs. That'll be rain and snow because I do have snow in the forecast. I'll look at those numbers and be cautiously optimistic at this point. And we'll certainly have updates for you as the storm develops and moves our way tomorrow around here. Whole different animal. It's just going to be warm and dry. Look at this by nine tomorrow morning. All Already into the 60s up and down the I-25 corridor. By 11 a.m., we're close to 80 degrees. Clouds will move in during the afternoon hours. Maybe a couple of sprinkles, parts of the Pikes Peak region tomorrow afternoon. But it's going to be real dry in the lower layers of the atmosphere. So most of that will evaporate before it reaches the ground and just create more wind than it will rainfall. What a day today. Pueblo, there you go. They've updated the high up to 80 this afternoon. In Colorado Springs, we topped out at 71. Average this time of year is 67 degrees. Very comfortable out there right now we've got 70s and 80s across most parts of southeastern Colorado. Overnight tonight, clear skies, not as cold as last night. Mid 40s tonight in both Colorado Springs and Pueblo. Tomorrow, well, weather is my business and business will be good. I think if you've got the day off, you'll want to plan something outdoors. Just light breezes until afternoon when that wind is going to intensify just a little bit. A two on the storm impact scale Saturday because some parts of El Paso County will have strong to maybe a severe thunderstorm. Rain on Mother's Day, much cooler air. And you talk about much cooler, 39 on Monday, the best we can do for that afternoon high temperature. It's May in eastern Colorado. These things happen and I think we will see snow in Colorado Springs late Sunday night, early Monday morning, and then late Monday night into Tuesday morning as well, a two on the storm impact scale. Pueblo, get ready for another episode of weather whiplash, close to 90 tomorrow, 47 on Monday, more than 40 degrees colder. You're going to get a good soaking rain early next week. That's the payoff for the big chill. 60 with showers or a weak thunderstorm on Sunday. Best window for the rain, the beneficial soaking rain, will be Monday and Tuesday. And check out that low Tuesday uh, morning dropping down to 32 degrees right at the freezing mark. Canyon City outdoor opportunities the next couple of days with dry, warm air. Rain and 20 degrees colder on Mother's Day Sunday, even colder Monday. You'll have to hibernate inside the house Monday and Tuesday, but you will get some beneficial rain both days. And for Woodland Park, nice and warm the next couple of days. Then you've got to pay the bill. You're going to get another wet, heavy snow loaded with water, but it's also going to feel like winter once again. Highs only in the 30s and a 3 on the storm impact scale with accumulating snow Monday into Tuesday. Jake